Hey guys, what is going on? What is going on? Today I'm coming to you with a new MacBook. Now it is not the touch screen or the touch bar. Um, I just picked it up today from Best Buy, it was on sale. Let's talk about it all while I unbox. So guys, I picked up the MacBook Pro, right? I, need a, I needed a new one. Um, my nine year old MacBook Pro is really old and it keeps freezing, iMovie. Um, when I'm using iMovie, it keeps restarting. I guess the video processor is gone, so I bought a new one. I bought the, it's not the latest model. It's not the one with the touch bar, but it is still the 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's 2.3 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256. The SSD hard drive, um, it's got two USB-C ports. It's got a headphone jack. Um, all that good stuff. I was in between this, not for iMovie, but in general use, I was between this MacBook Air and the MacBook. The MacBook Air, right now, Best Buy is having a promotion, right? So it's, I think, 100 to $200 off, depending on what version you get. And then on top of that, you get a $150 student discount. So with all that, this came from, I believe, 15 or 1600. We'll use our 1500 minus 100. Yep, so it was 1500 minus 100, came to 1400, minus 150 student discount came to 1350. Um, and it's tax free week, so I think I got advantage of that, but I don't know if it works for electronics. But, anyways, the total came to 1330, I believe. I got the receipt right here, Best Buy, so let's check it out. Total came to 1330. Here's the savings $150. Um, student discount, other savings, 100, total savings, 250, it came to 1350. Oh, yeah, it was um, $80 tax, so nope, it is tax free week here in CT, but it is not, um, it does not count towards electronics. So, this is the version I got. I was between, like I said, MacBook Air, MacBook Air, the cheapest one, with all those savings came to 750, which is pretty good to be honest and for everyday use it's fine but you know my macbook the only reason why i got a pro was my macbook pro lasted for nine years now so i thought if i get another macbook pro i can use it for another nine years i was gonna get the air but i never used the air the only reason i wanted the air was its portability and lightness but you can't go wrong with a pro and it's really not that much heavier than the air so i went with the pro so this play, take off the box. First thing that comes is uh, the laptop itself. You can see it's, I got the space gray model here. Um, let's take this bad boy off. And then it's like a, a folder it just comes right off. Um, yeah, so here it is. It's got the two USB-C models, uh, ports and a headphone jack. So it does not have a USB port. Comes with a screen protector and it turns right on. Let's put this to the side as it turns on. What else do we get? Here's the book, we get a booklet. What's in the booklet is the question. Take it off. It's actually like a book. You get the instructions and manual, you get the two stickers as usual, the Apple stickers. I really love those to be honest. I have one on my old MacBook Pro. I'll probably put one on this. And then you get the wall adapter here. Same usual USB-C port. And then you get the both USB-C and the USB-C cable. And then I believe that's it. Let's put these back into its spots. You know what? I'm on a mission. This is going to come off. Mission. Ooh, it speaks to you? Okay. I think this is glued down. So that's it. That's a box. Let's put these back. And then let's get this started. Let's cover this up. Here it is. 
let's set this up. Let's put this here like this so you guys can see a bit better. Zoom in a little, show the screen. Perfect. English, move on. So yeah, like I was saying, I wanted the MacBook here because it's lighter, it's portable. I travel for work um, and I always like hold it with one hand while I type with the other. That's why I wanted the Air, but like I said, this is very durable. I've used it, I have one. So why not just go with what you own, what you have. Um, that's, that's the main reason why I went with this. Um, the only reason why I didn't get the torch bar one is because I don't need it. It's a gimmick, right? Why spend all that extra throw though, like four or 500 bucks more when this serves the same purpose. This is the same thing. It's a brand new MacBook pro. It's going to last me again, another nine years. All I did was change the motherboard for 150 bucks. Cause I did it myself. I changed the battery for about the same price, 70, 80 bucks, which I also did myself. And then it lasts in nine years. Um, let me set this up and I'll be right back. So guys, all set up, here it is. Um, connected to Wi-Fi. The screen is so crispy clear, I love it. Um, but yeah, this is it guys, I mean. YouTube, I like the, the touch bar from nine years ago. It's very different, it's smoother, and it's like more clicky, more responsive. But this is it, let's just go on YouTube and Watch something real fast. My latest vlog. We just woke up an hour ago. Two speakers, big, big mouse track, crispy screen. Can't really ask for more, but you know, that was a simple unboxing video for you guys. Again, let's show the surroundings. This is the front. This is the top, that's the side, headphone jack, the bottom, two USB ports, and that's really it, and it's really not that heavy. But like I said, if you guys are stuck between MacBook Air, MacBook, or MacBook Pro, Pro is the way to go. It's faster, more responsive, Intel, everything, and it's gonna last really long. Like I said, my old version lasts in nine years. This says not expecting anything less from this, so it should be fine. Um, that's the way I would go, get the MacBook Pro. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, press that like button, comment below on what you guys want with, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.